Oh my god, look at that. <laughs> wow. And what better way to start a trip in Italy than with authentic Italian pizza? epic was that like mind-blowing epic like <laughs> it was gorgeous and we weren't even gonna come here either yes. but um it's just a fleeting visit we've just driven through this stupidal region to come and see this waterfall and now we're heading to italy see you there And what better way to start a trip in Italy than with authentic Italian pizza? Look at that! Oh, I'm so excited! Plus, I've got Chianti from the local region. And that's lovely too. Oh my god, that smells amazing! Is there a better way to finish an Italian pizza with gelato and espresso? Wow, that's strong. <laughs> it smells strong. Oh, that's nice. Would you like some? Okay. You must try even this one. Okay. This is a grab. Looks oh, nice. nice. Like this? Got limoncello. Yeah. And I have the grappa. You have grappa. <laughs> I think you might. Whoa. Whoa. Yours smell. is stronger? <laughs> it's good now because it's cold outside. <laughs> oh, it's that's warm sweet. here. <laughs> Would you oh. like to try some? Oh, this is the I'm not sure. <laughs> a starter? <laughs> So are you from here? Like no, I'm from Romania. From oh, Romania? Wow, okay. My mother is from Hungary. Oh. And my father was uh, from Ukraine. Wow. Yeah. So how did you end up in Italy? My husband. Wow, <laughs> He's from okay. Italy. Yeah. So you, did you travel and meet one another? Or? No, it uh, was for work. For work. Oh, okay. Romania, yes. Wow. And That's we amazing. Meet there. <laughs> yes. But now you live in this area like yes, full time? Yes, it's here. Yeah, yeah. This oh, is home. Nice. Yeah, wow. yeah. Home. It's uh, almost 17 years. Wow. <laughs> it's Pretty a beautiful yeah. part of the world as well. Yeah, like this yeah. is our first time yeah. in this region. So if you're looking for something uh, relaxing, here is a place. Mm -hmm. Now it's relaxed. <laughs> oh, it's quite nice. It's like it's whiskey. Nice. Oh. 
Maybe I drank too much. Maybe. Um, maybe it's like Valentine's almost. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a sip. You would sip it. Yeah. Did yeah. you shot it? I had quite a big drink. Yeah. <laughs> it's a big glass. <laughs> that was so cheap. It was, oh, it was lovely. Like, mm -hmm. proper, it's like a Wednesday night as well. So it's yeah. like a real locals night to be out and just such a nice experience. Yeah. So we're going to go back to the van uh -huh. and just go to bed. Yeah. And uh, we'll pick you up tomorrow when we're on our way to a location in Umbria. A beautiful, beautiful location, as Wait, we've heard. Uh, yeah, you've not been As we've yet. heard, <laughs> as we've heard. Good morning, guys. We are currently on our way to Lago Trasimeno. Trasimeno? I'm not sure if that's pronounced correctly. I've probably just butchered the Italian language. But uh, yeah, it's been recommended to us by our friend Davide, who is in fact Italian. So we're hoping it's going to be beautiful. And I hope we're going to see some beautiful views on the way there. It's about an hour's drive away, I think. So let's go see what it's like. Pretty nice spot. Very nice spot. Shame it's raining. Yeah. But that's the weather across most of Italy right now. Um, certainly in Umbria, which is where we are. Um, so yeah, what now? Coffee. Coffee, yeah. Italian coffee. No. Well, can we pretend it's Italian coffee? <laughs> of course. Okay. <laughs> So we're pretty sure that this lake is like a resort kind of town. There's a few towns around the perimeter of the lake, but obviously it's October, so it is absolutely dead. Um, and it's really quite cool to see it like out of season. We quite like coming to places when it's like all, I don't know, just peaceful, quiet. You can like imagine what it would be like when all the restaurants are open, the campsites are open. I bet people will be out on the water. But at the moment, it's just, it's just us. It's lovely. And when you're in Italy, you've got to eat pesto pasta as well, right? It's like our favorite meal. But is it just me or does anyone else use like three quarters of a jar for like two bowls? Is that too much? Nutri mm, goodness. And for the, what's the phrase? Pierre de la Resistance? No, that's not right. It's, that's French as well, isn't oh. it? Oh. <laughs> and the tout de la fruit to top it all off. Sun dried tomatoes. Oh, baby. Get in my belly. Nom, 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 nom. Oh, sunshine, is that you? <sighs> that is glorious. It looks so beautiful now that the, um, like the water's all glistening. Show them. I'll show you, I'll show you. Wow, wow, wow. This is why we love a lakeside park up. So the sun's gone in a bit. Um, we love this park up so much that we're gonna stay here tonight. Um, and we will catch you on the next part of the Italian journey that we're on. Well, here we are in Orvieto. It is a medieval kind of hilltop city, I think. It's yeah. a very small city, town, town we would probably town. call it. Um, and it has these spectacular views over the Umbria region. It is just gorgeous. It's quite early, so I can half nine. Yeah, nearly 10. Yeah. Nearly 10. 
Um, so it's still pretty quiet around and we are going to try and explore before it gets busy. Yeah, there's a few touristy things to do, so we're going to get our tourist on, yeah, aren't we? Yeah, we are. We've already paid 14 euros for parking, so the tourist feeling is already there. Yeah. <laughs> now we're going to go down the well. Oh, yeah. St. Patrick's Well, I think it's called. Yeah. So we'll find out a bit more um, about it as we go inside. Ooh. Oh, this is cool. Hello. <laughs> so we've made it to the bottom. It's quite echoey. Um, and this used to be a well, um, but then it became like a sort of hiding place for the Pope. We'll verify that, but it's pretty awesome there's like coins down in the water and like must be 50 75 meters deep it's pretty cool now we're gonna walk all the way back up oh, oh my god my heart is pounding yeah i'm fit aren't you? oh my god <clears throat> made it back up though yeah just about <clears throat> maybe like 20 steps to go <clears throat> I've actually got a bit of a, a glow on. Lovely. <laughs> Let's get to the project. Okay. So now we're back up and have some breath back. We actually can tell you that this was built between 1527 and 1535 at the behest of Pope Clement the Seventh. <laughs> Obviously reading from Wikipedia. <laughs> but um, he built it because he was worried about um, if the city got like ransacked that there wouldn't be enough water to last a siege and also somewhere for him to hide um so the name is like inspired by the medieval legends of saint patrick's purgatory Ooh. that's why it goes so deep yeah which basically means that it gave access down to purgatory indicating something very deep some italian architect from florence surrounded the central well with a two helix ramps and a double helix which is what we just walked up and down um ah so that was to carry allow mules to carry empty and full water vessels. Ah, I wish a mule carried me up and down. <laughs> <laughs> and it's 53.15 uh, meters deep. Wow. And it's uh, 13 meters wide at the diameter on the bottom. Amazing. You're welcome. That was pretty cool. Yeah, right now. It. Uh, into the village. Coffee, 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 coffee. <laughs> Chocolate croissant, baby. Oh wow. That looks so. <laughs> That's good. Mm. It's delicious. It looks so good. Here's us thinking we've come to the church, it's beautiful, like sandstony, weathered look. And then I look over that way, and there's the bloody church. I don't know if you can see it in the background. That's where we're meant to be. But it's, it's massive. <laughs> Should we head over there? Yeah. Okay. So typically I just kind of like to wander around aimlessly meander. meander meet around the street see what we see like no specific plan when we come to cities or um like towns and stuff whereas meek's here like to have more of an itinerary would you say an itinerary is a strong word a route a route at least planned. i like to know where we're going <laughs> yeah so we don't get lost and that's typically what happens is that we end up going in the wrong direction yeah. and then double backing on ourselves yeah Good for the steps though. It is, it is. Oh, we're having a wonderful time. Mm. That's all good. Now this 
is the church that we came to see. It's incredible. <laughs> So this cathedral is the Cathedral of Orvieto. It was built over 400 years yeah. from the 13th century right the way through to the 17th. Which is mad, isn't it? Yeah. It was meant to be, uh, well it's called one of the greatest artistic achievements of like the late Middle Ages in Italy. I can see and, why. Yeah, it is probably the most beautiful church we've ever seen. Yeah. You're trying to remember them all? I would say so anyway. Um, yeah, and it's built in like a um, French Gothic um, style, style yeah. which started to take over the Roman Basilica tradition. Yeah. Um, so it was like at the time a really like new edgy way of what? starting to like build cathedrals. What I really like is you've got all the goldy fancy bits on the front. But then down the sides, it's like black and white stripes. Yeah, it's um, really contrasting yeah. from the front to the back. It's really, really interesting. Striking. Striking. Mm. Yeah. It's beautiful. So we are just enjoying coffee here. And then carry on. Yeah. Maybe catch some food soon. Catch? <laughs> I'm not going to catch it. <laughs> catch a carrot. <laughs> We're going to go and find some food soon. <laughs> Yeah. So we have a cannelloni for mess. Thank you. And uh, the special gnocchi with the fresh truffle for Mister. Thank you, Mister. Cannelloni is a very typical uh, uh, and traditional uh, egg, uh, dish of pasta. And it's an egg pasta stuffed with uh, buffalo ricotta cheese in this case. Oh. And there's a very light uh, parmigiano sauce on top. And this uh, crumble that gives the, the dish a little pinch of uh, uh, a gourmet sense, let's say. Oh, wow. It's made out of uh, parmigiano and coffee. coffee. Fresh truffle gnocchi, of course. Very, very uh, uh, creamy and juicy and uh, fresh truffle. This is from, of course, October time. Uh, it's not the winter truffle, but still very, very good. Enjoy your food. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Mm. Oh, let me try that then. The guy just bought us fresh focaccia straight from the oven. Oh, wow. I'm so happy I could probably cry right now. <laughs> Genuinely, mm -hmm. this is amazing. Oh. Time to head back to the van now? Yeah, I think we probably should. Yeah. See you there. So we were dead worried because we've taken up two spaces, but we've got two tickets and we don't actually have like a parking penalty on the van, so Happy winning. Days. Winning. <laughs> day. How are you? Right, time to hit the road again. We have no idea where we're going. South. Um, we're just going south and we're going to see how far we get today. So we'll pick you up wherever we end up. We have made it about three hours south. Um, and I'm not sure if you can guess where we are by uh, this shot, but um, yeah, it is pretty mental down here we have just been saying that the um italian drivers i don't want to like tar them all with the same brush but they're pretty like risky business on the roads like they, they are not afraid to cut you up to get right up your bum to like merge on to the main road when they're meant to give way like they will just come straight on and like make everyone else slow down for them so it is a little bit stressful. Uh, we're about 15 minutes away from our destination, so we're hoping that we can get parked up when we get there. But the roads have turned pretty narrow. <laughs> so Meeks is doing his very best driving <laughs> and trying not to get stressed by the Italian drivers. Well, we've made it to our park up for the night. 
it's actually pretty decent apart from that dog barking in the background um we're in like the very outskirts of naples you probably guessed from the shot of mount vesuvius which is actually just there how epic is that this is like a paid motorhome air we're not sure how much it is per night yet we'll find out um but they gave us a shot of limoncello on arrival offered us coffee or limoncello and said bring your doc park up bring your documents and pay so that's what we're gonna go and do now it's um very busy around here as you can probably tell from the drive in um it's a bit more like edgy very vibrant but it's pretty cool very different from anything else we've experienced on this trip right well we've spoken to the guy we've not he, paid we're not paid yet he said party he speaks french the other guy spoke italian we don't speak either so we think he said 24 euros plus tourist tax which is like 10 percent yeah like on everything whether it's restaurants yeah. like anything you do in italy so we think it's going to be 30 euros but i guess we'll find out tomorrow <laughs> so we're going to enjoy the sunset and catch us next week when we take you round the ancient city of Pompeii. Pompeii which is what we're here for yeah. to do tomorrow Shop. but we've got to buy some tickets first so hopefully we can get some <laughs> we'll see you on the next one bye guys <laughs>